Okay, in this video I would like to talk about the alternative programming method for timing. So when you program the timer for a couple of seconds, a couple of minutes, it's uh, very convenient. You hold the wire to the uh, to the ground, and it, and the timer learns your duration, and it's pretty and, and it's very accurate and exactly what you need. So that works great. When you want to set your duration to 10 hours, or let's let's say 100 hours. That makes it very in impractical because you can hold the button for a, for a hundred hours for four days, and then if you make a mistake, you you have to repeat it all uh, over again. So obviously that doesn't work for the longer durations. So what we did, we added another programming mode where you can uh, program the duration, program your time in hours, minutes, seconds uh, mode, and we're going to show you how to do that. So in a manual you find this uh, small section outlines the uh, functionality. Uh, it shows you the six parameters that you can set. You will be able to set the seconds, minutes, minutes by 10, hours, hours by 10, and hours by uh, 100. And when you set all those, uh, all those parameters, the time adds up. So let's say if you need uh, to set your time for 11 hours and 10 seconds, you would set you would set the seconds to 10, minutes to 0, minutes by 10 to 0, hours to 1, and hours by 10 to 1. So you have 10 hours plus 1 hour plus 10 seconds. And um, so that's how it uh, uh, works. To use that mode, uh, we added another menu. And uh, in a normal process, you would go through the three different, through the three steps. You would uh, go into the programming mode you would set up your timing first then you go set up your function and a trigger function and then the third parameter is the output you can either set it up uh, to be normal or reversed now we did the fourth one fourth parameter where you can set up your programming mode either normal or hours minutes seconds so in order to use it we will need to go to the fourth parameter first before you even touch the timing and set it to hours, minutes, seconds. We're gonna power off the timer, and from this point forward, all the times would be set in hours, minutes, seconds for all the functions. If you need to go back and set it to the duration, then you need to go back to the fourth parameter, go through the one, two, three, four, go to fourth parameter, set it to normal, and then power off, and from that point, you can program your time in a duration fashion. Uh, hopefully, it is clear. So let's uh, configure the timer to use the hours, minutes, seconds, and uh, see how that works. So currently I have uh, programming uh, set to function 2 and uh, maybe one second delay or duration. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into the programming mode first. I'm going to power the timer, go into the programming, uh, programming mode. Now I'm not going to set the time. We don't need it at this point. We're going to short uh, the wires so we can go to the function. We're not going to change the function on the trigger. We're going to confirm it, go to next step. It's our output, normal. We're not going to change it. Go to next parameter. I'm going to change that so it's... And then... Um, I think I changed the reverse output. So let me repeat the steps. Go into the programming mode. No timing changes. No function changes. We're going to set it to the normal output. So I'm going to touch the white wire. Then I'm going to confirm that. And then I'm going to touch the green wire. And that's going to set it to hours, minutes, and seconds. And that's it, we're gonna power it off. Now we're gonna go back and we're gonna, first of all, we're gonna turn the timer on and see it's set to one second at this point. It's the function two, power on for a period of time. So we're gonna go into the programming mode. So this is our timing, programming mode. And now you can set up your timing by touching the uh, white wire. I'm gonna set it to, let's say, 11 seconds. So I'm gonna touch it 11 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 
and I'm gonna then touch the wire and hold it until it blinks multiple times. That means it saves the parameter, our minutes, and goes to the next one, which is the minutes. So we set seconds to 11, go to minutes. We don't need to change the minutes, or oh, it's zero at this point. We're gonna just uh, hold the wires so we can go to next one, minutes by 10. Next one will be hours. Hours by 10 is zero. And hours by 100 is zero. Now you have to go through all those programming uh, modes because we need to make sure that we set all those six to calculate the total time. So that's it, I'm done. I'm set to 11 seconds, disconnect the power connect it and it will stay for 11 seconds now if you need to set it again for a longer period of time you just figure out which parameter needs to be changed the seconds could be changed to up to 60 uh, minutes minutes by 10 hours hours by 10 and by 100 could only be set to a 10 so you can set to 10 minutes but then if you need a longer period then you use the minutes by 10 so if you need 59 minutes you would set the minutes by 10 to a 5 and minutes to 9 and it will make it 59, uh, uh, 59 minutes and you just basically add those uh, 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 hours together uh, settings together now if you need to go back to your duration method uh, you would uh, go back through those uh, you, you will go back to the fourth parameter we talked about and set the programming mode to uh, normal so I'm gonna quickly do that gonna power it on not gonna change the time I'm gonna go to function I'm not gonna change the function I'm not gonna change the output and then I'm going to change gonna touch the white wire and that's it actually if we just short one more time the lights gonna stay on that's the end of the cycle and then if we turn it back on let me connect to add wires go back on now i can set my time with the duration hold the white wire for a couple of seconds release it and then uh, here you go. We back to the normal programming uh, mode. All right. Thank you so much.